should you be using a super fluke or fluke to catch more fish before we get into the video hit that like and subscribe button and if you're new comment below and just say hello so I can say hello back but right now we're gonna talk about the fluke and why you should be using more of them I've found in the past there are many times that the fluke is all they will eat on the colder days on the warmer days it's a perfect bait year-round but you'll find yourself getting more fish and if you use a fluke during a post spawn or in the fall or in the middle of the summer when it's super super cold it's a little bit hard to use but this is a fantastic bait to use almost year-round however you need to know how to rig it properly and that's the first thing we're going to talk about the fluke is a power fishing bait it's constant movement it's a uh, majority of people are constantly twitching twitch twitch and that will get you lots and lots of strikes and lots and lots of bites in warm water in your fall months and in the middle of summer when the fish are a little bit more aggressive as the water cools you can twitch twitch pause and that bait will nose down in the water or sometimes just fl uh, flutter downward horizontally and that will get you strikes get you lots of strikes the fluke is a great way to catch bass year-round the way I like to rig it is kind of like a Texas rig. I want to put the the hook in the front of the, the nose of the lure, have it come out the top, and then work it back, pull it through that slot that they give you, and then up the out the top, and then bury the hook into the top of that plastic. Here's the reason why. I want to I want that that hook or that that flute to be weedless i'm using an ewg hook a three a three or four usually a four aught bleeding bait hook and when i cast that bait out when i twitch it i want it to pause and i want it to the nose to sink down overall most people believe that the zoom is the super fluke and it is it is fantastic like i said i have a whole box of them with several hundred sitting right next to me. Uh, they're a great bait to use year round. I found that since the flush came out that the flush sinks a little bit slower and that's better for me. They also come in this clam package and they're always perfectly straight and I love that too. Now the flush are a little bit more expensive from six cents than the zoom and the zoom has a lot of great colors and but either or is going to make your life a lot better when you're bass fishing or when you're out fishing. So another tip, once you're done rigged it and you have made your first cast, if you notice that the bait kind of does this, this, it never goes like this and then back like this. If it always goes just one way, it wants to always go right or always wants to go left, you'll find or you should notice right away that that bait probably has something wrong with it. It's either not uh, maybe the tail is slightly off or the bait maybe a little crooked uh, the hook is off crooked a little bit but if if you notice that it's just doing this or that you need to probably re-rig it because a fluke is the best time a fluke works is when it's walking because it'll walk and then when you pause it it's going to flutter down or nose down into the water and that's when you're going to get bites now you'll get bites as it's walking too because you can make that bait stay in the upper water column or you can make it stay just underneath the water column and it'll be good it's a great power fishing bait so the goal of the bait or the fluke is to look like a dying shad a dying shad will run off and stop run off and stop so when you have that fluke and it's going back and forth and walking on top of the water or that just above or below the water surface and it pauses those bass are going to sit there wait for it ambush it and kill it so we talked about a little bit of a little ago a little bit ago about how that bait reacts in the water making sure that bait is constantly walking back and forth 
will help you catch more fish. If you're in the summer months, using a fluke is very successful, highly successful, by just twitching it in nonstop. You can make it walk the dog, you can slowly pause it and it'll flutter downwards. It looks like a dying forage fish, and that's what you're that's what you should strive to make that bait look like. But there's lots of other ways to fish it. When it gets slightly colder, you know, twitch, twitch, pause is a really good opportunity to fool these bass. But this is, fluke fishing is really, um, is really great because you can do it year round. If it's cold, you can slow down your retrieval. If it's warmer, you can speed it up. But there's a couple ways to do this during the summer that's gonna get you more bites. And this is how I fish a majority of it. Today I'm fishing with a, a 10 pound uh, braid, Power Pro, with a eight pound leader. And that's gonna make the bait sink a little bit. Now if you want to take the next level of fluke fishing, and what I was gonna say a little bit different strategy, is tie it directly onto your braided line. Because your braided line is floats, when you cast that fluke out, it's gonna sink even slower than normal. I like to, to cast it and work it as almost a top water bait and then completely stop. Bass are looking for that stop. It looks like a dying fish that's happening right in front of their eyes. They see that little flutter and then it just looks like a dying forage fish because it pauses. And that bait will slowly sink in the water column and that's when you're gonna feel them just get hammered. They're just gonna attack it. So that's my kind of extra tip for you right now. Hopefully this video helps you learn more about fluke fishing. Uh, I hope it helps you catch more fish. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hitting like and subscribe. Remember, take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. We'll see y'all soon. Cheers. Hit like and subscribe. Take your um kids fishing. <laughs>